What up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm having some fun with Historics. We are going to build around one of my all-time favorite cards, even though it's one of the most oppressive cards you could have played against in that standard format. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure if Gonti was in the format. Someone was like, Josh uh, Shua Garner was like, you should play Gonti if you like it. And, uh, or no, he, he, so we had a Scarab theme, right? We were just going to, that's not... We we're gonna play Nest of Scarabs and Scarab Feast, you know, because of the it's tribal, it's Scarab tribal deck. But then he's like, you know, if you can get out of the the Scarab theme, you can play Gonti. And I was like, is Gonti even allowed? Because it's Kaladesh, and Kaladesh isn't on here yet. But it was in Jumpstart, and boy, do I like a Gonti. Is Muldrifter? Oh dang, there's no Muldrifter. Do you guys know if all of Jumpstart is on here? <clears throat> well, we're not playing green, so you know we're gonna. We're literally going to be the dude that's like, four thoughts use, four thoughts scours. <laughs> Thought erasure. I guess I just have to... Like, that's just... This is just the, the best you could do, right? Slightly modded, but yes. Okay, so I was just curious because there is a bunch of cards in Jumpstart. Obviously, like Gonti and stuff. And Scarab God. No, Scarabrads and I can't remastered. Um, what about Consecrated Sphinx? You think that was printed in a... Nope, I guess not. Dang, that's sad. Let's blue-black it. Uh-huh. Let's put, like, two Castle Vantresses in here. Pact of Negation is pretty interesting. I could see playing two Pact of Negations. <clears throat> New Teferi is interesting. I don't hate New Teferi. I really don't love New Teferi, but I don't hate New Teferi. Is that, is that meaningful? That doesn't feel like a meaningful statement. I can take him or leave him. Stripper Jace. I don't even know what that is. But Kyle, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. 18 months? Do you remember your long streak and then it got broken because they, they made you change your name? Um, well, I just feel like Aether Gusts and, you know, Noxious Grasps and all that, that whole cycle is just going to see play for as long as it is legal in every format that it's in. Like, it's, it's kind of frustrating. Is Mystical Dispute not part of that cycle it's just part of a different cycle what's Amonkhet Liliana Death's Majesty I'm not a huge fan of Death's Majesty especially if we're not like reanimating big fat idiots Dispute is just on its own it's not part of a cycle right because that's a wild card to just to be printed <laughs> like that's insane. I kind of like frantic inventory. So I'm not I'm not trying to play a deck where we're just gonna mill ourselves and try to like put creatures in our own graveyard. I'm trying to play we're trying to play like a control deck here where we just like play Scarab God and then they have to deal with it. But that being said, our deck is likely gonna be very unfun. Also, like one, I can see one search for Ezkanta being decent here. God, we're only on two drops. See, I'm telling you guys, building decks is. It's a lot of work, man. Need, you need four cages in the board. Don't forget your cages. Put your cages in your sideboard. Because if you don't have a cage in your sideboard, you don't have a rage in your front. Heart. Rob Castile, ladies and gentlemen. Is as foretold mythic? That's unfortunate. Bruvac, the grand grand eloquent? Grand grandiloquent? That's interesting. Oh, I like two brazen boys. Bootleg borrower. What does that even mean? Champion of Wits is pretty dece. I 
I do like Gifted Aetherborn. That guy just blocks everything. Man, I called Rob out. That dumb impression sounds like someone who loves basketball. <laughs> well, it's not me, buddy. I don't even like... I don't even... I've never even watched basketball before. <sighs> what are we playing against here? We're playing against, like, aggro decks. We definitely want some languishes. Man, Historic sure gave me a lot of cards to have to craft. God, Mystical Dispute is so bananas, dude. It's, this isn't a cycle, right? It's just a... It's just a card that... It's just a... It's just... It is a cycle? What's the rest of the, Give me another example in that cycle. Oh, yeah. Red cap melee. Oh, yeah, the OK adversary was the green one. Oh, wow, this card is so head and shoulders above every other card in that cycle. You can tell your cycle is not balanced when literally people don't even realize that it's part of a cycle because the rest is so bad comparatively. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's like a like a valley. Look at why are there look at all these water knots, man. Ixalan water knot, 19 water knot, jumpstart water knot, and arena water knot. Like, why do you need this, man? Why can't they hide them? Like when I'm scrolling through all these cards, do I really have to see like Do I have to have a full page of water knots? And then a full page of winged words? Like isn't, like, a full page of Capture Spheres? Like, isn't this just slowing me down significantly? Oh, I kind of like to commit to memories. That's interesting. It's nice seeing all these new cards. Like, I think that's what I'm enjoying. Um, <laughs> need Water Not Tron. It's true. That's what I'm going for. I would really like it if my internet stopped dropping frames. That would be super cool. Is it noticeable on your end, guys? I've dropped 1.4% of all frames, which is low, but I want to make sure it's not, like, super affecting the quality here. Did you look at Narset? I mean, I've looked at her before. I've seen Narset. I'm aware of her. Her look. Six Mana Cryptic, I, I, I actually... I love that card. I don't know if it's good, but I do like it a lot. Is this guy any good? Rob, do I play this guy? I'm going to put one in just in case I want to play it, and then I'll just have it in the deck so I can either add more or take it out. Nathan, I also don't think it's great. I feel like I want languish. Rob what? <laughs> I don't know the question I asked you, perhaps? We're getting there. We're on, we're on five drops, guys. I didn't hear you was talking to Peyton. I just heard my name. Oh, I asked if Teferi was good. Do you think Teferi's good here? I actually can't tell. I really love this Tezzeret, guys. I've loved this Tezzeret ever since he was first printed. Like, plus one to make a 1-1 one, one flyer. Zero to draw two to three cards. Like, two two cards is pretty pretty insane. Um, I just, I really love this Tezzeret. I think it's great. It's just never, it's just never had a good home. <laughs> Negative nine, so easy. Well, it's not, but I mean, like, you don't play Planeswalkers based on the ease of their ultimates, really, so. Oh, I kind of do like that. Like, their turn, you're like, discard this guy, reanimate it. That's actually pretty cool. All right, that's actually, that's actually pretty cool. What about Nicol Bolas? Fuck. Like that a lot. But now we're just playing Grixis. And then I feel bad because like the ten and the ten and twelve that they added for us, it's not going to be valid anymore. You know, I don't want to invalidate Magic's uh, attempts to. I 
I'm not just term in terms of wax. Like. Legendary creature or planeswalker. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang it. Then we're breaking the grazer roll for not it's true. <laughs> Imagine ever needing this? What? What do you what do you what? The Karns? What are you saying right now? Oh, I I fuck I dude I love Karns Temporal Sundering. Like minimum twenty legends. Josh is a statistician, so Shark Typhoon any good? I don't actually think so. But probably. Do I just play one Sublime Epiphany for the for the funsies of it? It's hard when all when most of your creatures are legendary though, because then you're just like, well, I guess I won't copy anything. Oh, I'm good. And you really want to maximize the number of modes that you can hit. God, I love Kiora, best to see God. I have like a bunch of favorite cards, and I acknowledge that they're not like tier one staples, right? Like I'm obviously not advocating for you to play things like Kiora, best to see God, or Tezzeret, agent of whatever in your constructed decks but that being the case still still like them as cards you know mm. copying Gonti does still get a trigger yeah and you just keep the good one right <laughs> guys give me some more ideas I'm gonna add another Teferi <clears throat> How many guys only have five mythics? Guys, donate me your mythics whenever you get a chance. What? Wait, so by flipping this, it re. Oh, 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 man, there's so many quirks of this client that I absolutely abhor. Wow. Look at this. Look what we have to do now. I would be fast forwarding this video so quick. You need chits? I don't know what that means. Dude, there's so many people who've been like, I would just donate you a mythic. You can't you can't really donate mythics. Which is the saddest thing. Oh my god. People just have their mythics and they're not using them, and I'm over here like, well, I only have five because I have to use the mod things. Trading card game. <laughs> the day MTG went from TCG to CCG. That's so many acronyms. Good gravy. How many three mana planeswalkers are there? Because if there's really not a lot of three mana planeswalkers, then we're just better off playing like Heartless Act or like Cast Down, you know? I think Eliminate is a great card. I just don't think a lot of the modern formats uh, really care about it because, like, Oko's not legal. So you hit, like, and neither is Tefri, right? So you hit, like, an R set. <clears throat> yeah, like, Cast Down is better and Heartless Act is better, I think. Cast Down's better than Heartless Act, you think? Shut up and take my money. Bucks for packs for wild cards for mythics. <laughs> Josh, I love you, buddy. I'm going to do it right now. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll do it in a second because I don't want to lose my place in, in line here, which sounds ridiculous. I'll put in four gifted airborns. How many legendary creatures? Like, I don't know the, the number of legendary creatures in the format, you know? Like, I don't know what's, like, really coming at us. I think two cast down is probably good. Is Fatal Push illegal? No, we would have seen it, right? Oh, I like Astros a lot, actually. That's like one of my favorite Muldrifter-esque cards. <sighs> of course, Noxious Grasp in the sideboard, like you do. What's that card that exiles a card in a graveyard and then you can escape it? I don't know the name of it, but I know one of you is going to know the name of it immediately. Because I believe in you guys. I forgot the gems bit? What do you mean? <whistles> Clock. 
cling it's got to be more than just cling that's just a word cling to dust there you go there you go toasty bear you tried but you were just out of reach oh you forgot the gem bucks for gems for packs for wild <laughs> see that's funnier keep it going um so cry of the carnarium or i think we're just playing languish right i think we just want like three languishes in the sideboard and with this format because it's so kind of like unestablished still i've just been playing like three of everything three gusts three mystical three noxious etc we're not really fine-tuning our sideboards because it's kind of hard to do oh two murderous riders <clears throat> maybe three murderous riders okay this is already 56 cards guys we are uh coming in hot here I kind of want like Ashiok and like Atris and like just a, and we also didn't even have Teferis I'm going to take the commits out those are not going to make the cut <laughs> okay well I'm trying to save some oh Pact of Negation might not make the cut either we'll see You think ritual is better than languish? How so? Not not doubting. I'm just I just I'm just curious. Yeah, I think rider's better because well, if it ends up getting in your graveyard like through a discard or something, you can still reanimate. It. You can discard it with Tefri and still reanimate it. <clears throat> okay, we can do ritual. I'm I'm down to rich. Oh, Demonic Pact? Why didn't you guys tell me Demonic Pact was legal? How do we give this away? I mean, we're not going to do it now. We're going to play it next. But, like... Oh, Extinction Event is interesting. I think it's probably just worse than Ritual here, but... I don't know. It's harmless offering. I mean, I feel like it's if it's not, it's kind of weird because like you print a demonic pack, so just give us the combo. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like one choops. Ritual of Sooties. Oh, what about Eldest Reborn? Is Eldest Reborn cool? Elder Born feels cool. And Atris. Yeah, let's play these things. I love a good choops. Choop, 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 choop a loop. Choo -do 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 choop a loop. I wonder if Harmless Offering. I'm like, going to be real excited if Harmless Offering is uh, a legal card. Let's put this guy back in here. I don't know if that guy's good enough. We'll see. I'll put two of these guys in here. I actually don't... I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care about Hazaret. Like, <laughs> we have eight discard spells in the main. Maybe that's too many. I want to cut one. Guys, we're almost done with the black. Alright, looking at a Dreadhorde General is pretty sweet. So is six mana Ugin. I, I like both of those planeswalkers. What set was Leon in? So were they both in War of the Spark? Were those both one was rare and one was mythic? Haha. <laughs> Suck it. I hate that guy. Alright. Uh, oh, Drowned Catacomb is, is a nice option. I kind of like Fetid Pools, too. At least a couple Fetid Pools. It cycles. Look, why does it say tap to add a blue and then tap to add a black separately? That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> Is 
is that what it's doing when it says island and swamp? So it's it's representing the island part on the card and then the, the swamp part on the card? Because that's pretty funny. The river of deceit flows down. The only direction. Is Ashiok just better than like Grafter's Cage? No, probably not because you have a uh, collected company. Oh, Thief of Sanity. We almost forgot Thief of Sanity, guys. <laughs> wow. I like two Atras. See, now we got 61 cards. <gasps> Hostage Taker? Oh, man. Oh, that's exciting, guys. I totally forgot about Hostage Taker. Is that better than Choops? I can't even tell. I kind of want, like, an Ashiok. I just like this Ashiok. It's like the Teferi, you know? I like it. It's personal. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a thing I like. I will probably take out one Erasure. I really like Lockmere Serpent. I think Lockmere Serpent does work. Okay, let's scroll past these. I don't think there's any. There's, I don't think there's gonna be any hybrid cards that are really uh in our wheelhouse. Okay, can I just add this and take these off? <laughs> Scavenger Grounds is interesting. Tormod's Crypt. Alright. Put it in three cages. I want to see Harmless. It's <sighs> so sad, dude. Why would you not put harm? Is there any way we got to figure out a way to get rid of the stupid, uh, the stupid demonic pact, right? Okay, this is sixty cards. I feel like we do want an extra land, though. I think search is kind of stupid. I don't even like search that much. What are we exchanging control with? I thought I could, there was a card called Exchange Control. Uh, role Reversal, we could do that, but then they have to share a type, so your opponent kind of has to be playing an enchantment. Two Atris, two Teferi, uh, three Gaunti, one Choops, two Eldest Reborn, three Scarab God. Maybe, it's a, maybe we cut one Eldest Reborn? I guess you don't technically have to cut anything here. Um, let's get good lands. Whoa. Oh, I love these Mirage lands. Wow, that's awesome. They really do need to change the font color. It's, I, I I agree with you completely. Um, is three Gaunti too many? Do we just cut down to two? Because I do want I kind of want to add one more like. I kind of want to add more troops because like we don't have a lot of removal at three. I guess I have Murder Shredder and Cast Down and either and Gifted Either one's kind of like removal. Do we want two and two or do we want three and one? Is the question. Why no contempt? I mean, we have Murder Shredder. And we have Scarab God to get back things like Murder Rider if it happens to get discarded. I just think Murder Rider is better. I mean, like, as usual, we can just play this. I'll play one field. The problem with one field of the dead is that, like, it's really hard to cast your thoughts. Like, we have double black and black and black blue. So, like, any colorless land is not going to let us cast any of these cards. 
And then for for three drops, we have double blue, double black, blue black. So. Um, let's try to figure out how many times Hostage Taker would be better. Um, is it Fatal Passage or is it like a Temple of Deceit? I kind of like Temple, but I, I think Fatal Passage, like, it's, it's a land that comes into play untapped on turn four or later, so. You can take out the Thought Erasure. I think seven is enough. What is Virulent Plague? Just tokens? I, I mean I haven't I haven't personally seen enough decks that really warrant this when you have three ritual of soot. <clears throat> Twenty-five lands. Alright, let's try this. Again. Where's the craft all button? Why is it under the sideboard? <laughs> Seven rares, three mythics, sure. I'm in. I think 26 land could be fine, but we also have Thought Erasure, which lets us look. I mean, we don't have a bunch of card advantage, interestingly enough. Blue, black, Scrabble, Dad. I'm a 27 to 30 land gamer now. That's a pro gamer move. The only direction to go is down. Down. Oh, down. I got the, I got, I always get River of Deceit stuck in my head whenever I talk about Temple of Deceit. I'm gonna play first. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, uh, this is okay. We want to hit a fourth land, and we definitely don't want to have to hit two lands. So I'm gonna put the Atris back. Eliminate murderous rider. What the f look at this Jun nonsense. I mean, I love it. I love it. I mean, they're just going to murder us, right, or a thief, right? Thoughtseize is amazing. I, I actually don't... I think this format would have been better if it didn't have Thoughtseize, to be honest with you. TBH. Have you tried Niv Curiosity since Amonkhet? Uh... Is that the you mean the the combo deck with Niv Mizzet and like he just shoots he just shoots the, the dude to death? I'm tempted to not even play this because they do have Murderous Rider in hand. I'm tempted to just play another Gifted Aetherborn. It kind of puts me in a position where they like have to kill this guy with with Murderous Rider because otherwise we're just gaining a million life. Well, yeah, actually, Nathan, I actually like where your head's at there a lot. Because they have two mana up, so they're going to use it now. Oh, if they just... Oh, it's okay. They just drew two more removal spells, so... It's okay. It's okay. Well, we know they have Rod and... Okay, so they have Rod and one card. It's actually not terrible. Jund is apparently just removal tribal. It's true. It is... Mm, yeah, it's fine. So if we play Brazen Bar, they automatically take Teferi. So at least now... I guess it doesn't. I guess they're just going to take Teferi anyway. So I'd rather just save this. And then... You do not have haste.
Seems good. Um, I mean, I'm not going to hold this when our deck needs five mana to function. So. Hmm. Well, they have one card in their hand. Okay. Um, I don't think you're going to do it, I'll be honest with you. Like, we're not going to have any cards to discard, so his discard ability is terrible. Wow, this is amazing. So you've drawn this... So this game, you have drawn four... Removal spells and two thoughts. You literally drawn two of every card in your graveyard along with the Murderous Rider, and we drew a drawn catacomb. So next turn, if they hit they, they don't actually have to land, they can just go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, push to one. Sure. Take out these stupid Teferis. Uh, definitely think we want another Chupacabra in here. So it seems alright. I'm just like, the problem is like it takes out our Thief, it takes out our Gifted Aetherborns. Does that, do I care about that? Maybe I just take these out. Well, I could take Thief out anyway and bring in Rituals. And I'm bringing another Aethergust. Alright, that seems fine. I'm going to keep this, <laughs> so we'll see. God, Thoughtseize is stupid. Um, yeah, I'll take your Thoughtseize. Oh, Thoughtseize taking Thoughtseize. You got it. I can get a peek. Oh, good. You drew another one. Fantastic. Oh, I actually will keep that. I think that's actually probably decent in this matchup. We do need one more land, but I think we can take a hit here. Down. Oh, down. How's the dog cam looking? You can see two dogs in the, in the bed and then one hunter in front of them. Alright, so now they get to go Bone Crusher us in the face, cast Bone Crusher, we get to Choops. Alright, so their hand is two lands and a random card, I actually feel okay about this Choops. Did they play Blood Grip tapped? That's weird. Oh, and they didn't take Choops? This is all very strange to me. I mean, obviously you're so scared of Scarab God that you took Scarab God, but still. Oh yeah, it's your boy. Oh, 
Oh, this just gets back our own Scarab God? Yeah, that's pretty good. Down. On down. Dang it, Gonti! Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I want all of these. This is so much value. I mean, Questing Beast is just phenomenal. Terror of the Peaks also really good. <laughs> what do you have? Eliminate and Heartless Act. So they both... Dodge one and hit the other. Wow, this is great. I'll just take the beast. We just get Scarab God back. Oh, this gets Scarab God back and we get our mana untapped. So then we just go, whoop, reanimate your guy. Um, yeah, okay. So we did see, oh. I think we're taking out Grasp. We saw more red-green cards than, than white, so obviously Aether Gust is just better than Grasp here, so. <sighs> yeah, all right. I agree that Liliana is better for the game plan, but I also think that Questing Beast just closes out the game a little quicker. Oh yeah, we'll just snap keep any any thoughts these Panthers. Yeah, that seems good. I wish we didn't have two Gontis here. I think we can cut one Gonti. Add another Murder Shrider. Oh god, we're just living the dream. Karoxa. Yeah, get rid of Karoxa. Actually, maybe it wasn't Karoxa. My Karoxa just makes us discard a card. Like, we could have just discarded Gonti. Yeah, maybe that would have been better. I think I was... Um... Do I care about Bone Crusher? Not really. I do care about Phoenix, though. Phoenix is... Oh, yeah. Keep that on top. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. So you have Eliminate Bone Crusher. You're probably going to Bone Crusher me at the end of the turn. Which I'll just... On top, I guess. Oh, they didn't. They didn't do that. Really, you don't just play Bone Crusher here. That's pretty wild. All right. Well, missed the fourth land drop. So if we do it now, the Bone Crusher still goes on top, they just redraw it. I think that's actually fine. Yeah, sure. So I mean, you can cast it now. You can actually shoot us and then still play it, which isn't fine. 
And then we can ritual of soot if we hit a land. Sure. Like you do. And they still only have three cards that are not Croxa, so they still need two more cards in the graveyard. Murderous Rider! Oh, Thoughtseize is interesting. Eh, I don't care about that. I'd rather have the giant. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Well, that's unfortunate because it goes to their graveyard. See, this is why I don't like eliminate. There's just so many creatures that it just doesn't do anything against. Not, don't get me wrong, I think it's a good card. That's why I don't like it in this particular uh, format, let's say. Fetid Pools number dose. I might just want to hold up Fetid Pools. They're still pretty far from... I think we're just going to Murderous Rider this guy. Yeah, we're just going to Murderous Rider, keep up Aether Gust, and then cycle if they don't give me anything to... <gasps> Excuse me. Give me anything to do with the... Um, now we're probably going to Murderous Rider that guy. We can just play this. It gives them a it gives them a target for their eliminate. I think we're just passing. We have Castle Vantress. They have no threats on board. Sure. Pass. It's a murderous rider. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Activate. Is scrying better than cycling one? Probably. Two gifted Aetherborns. They have Eliminate, though? Yeah, both those away. Huh, <laughs> Gaunti number three. Love it. Nice Eliminate, brah. Give me something good. That'll do, pig. Nice Eliminate, brah. Three of these cards are theirs. <laughs> Is Hollywood even trying? I don't think so. Are they casting this? Yeah, that's fine.
Let's cycle this. Cool. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can play beasts. They'll keep a bunch of stuff up. I like that. They still don't have enough Croxa, and we're still going to keep either Gust for Croxa. Like. Sure. Uh, I don't think she gains trample. No, she just gets plus X plus X. She does have first strike though, so death touch is not as good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put it on the bottom. That's just a removal spell. I don't know why these castles aren't legendary. They seem definitely like they should be legendary. If we don't play a three drop, they can't get eliminated into their graveyard, and then they don't have five cards for Croxa, so that's kind of cool. So the funny thing is, we could play Murderous Rider. It forces them to eliminate. It doesn't force them to, but it, may, it would give them a reason to. Then we can play Croxa to deal them three, and then Bone Crusher to deal them two. That's interesting. I assume they drew a Bone Crusher Giant. What do you think? Because they hovered over my guy. Oh, they're going to eliminate their... Well, the problem with blocking is that, like, they could always just block, wait till damage, and then shoot it. So. Mm, one, two, three, four. So this is what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm just gonna scry here. Nope, don't care about either of those. Eldritch Reborn. Go on an adventure. So now they have to block. I guess we should have not. Yeah, we should have attacked first. Oh wait, I can't cast this, can I? Because it's I it because I can only cast the first half. That's interesting.
Should have played this first to get rid of the last card. Now it's a removal spell. They just get to kill our guy. It's always a removal spell, so I don't know why I didn't think it would be, but yeah, that was pretty bad. I, I'm like giving their eliminates value. Yeah, this 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 turn was played pretty poorly. Admittedly. It's okay, we still had Gonti. Platinum? Oh, baby, we're, cr we're climbing the ranks. Oh, man, look at that. Got a pack. So good at this game. Let's see what we can do here. All right, taking this Teferi out because you're trash. You garbage. Put another Choops in. What else did we like? There was something else I was like, ooh, this is good. Um... I said play Gonti and you didn't want to. That's a lie. That's a bold-faced lie. I think four mana Lily. I don't know if I like that. I don't... Mm. Mm. I mean, I much rather just play one Lily on a Dreadhorde General because this card's good. Eh. Fourth Scarab God? It's a Maniacs. That's a Maniacs thing. That's a Maniacs thing. What is he saying? Nobody knows. I like 1 6 drop. <sighs> solemn? I do like a Solemn Simulacrum. I'm gonna keep this and I'm just gonna assume that I draw a turn two discard spell. Because obviously. Argyle's blood fast. Who's got the time? I mean, that reminds me of Pack Rat. Like the other day we were talking about Pack Rat in the mono black deck, and I'm just like, it's just too slow. I'd rather have um I'd rather have search, because I think search is doing a very similar thing to Blood Fast, where it's like it's mitigating your draws. And in the late game, you just get to sit there and be like, oh, cool, I'll just get to draw an extra card. We did not draw the discard spell that we were looking for. <laughs> we have two very solid four drops, though. Which is pretty, pretty nice, too. Oh, we're just playing against this deck again? God, man. Wild. I feel like this guy should have no consequences, right? What's the, what was Jason's pull? I don't even know. This goes in their graveyard, unfortunately. I mean, I guess it's going there anyway. But I actually think Hour of Promise is probably just better here. Yeah, I think it'd actually be funny to put like three deserts in the deck or four deserts. Hmm. Eldest Reborn? Sure. Yep, here we go. I really dislike this card. I don't think it's a great design. I think it's actually a trash design. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Gotta handle it. Are you ready? Crazy little scarab god. Oh. Well, that's fascinating. Uh, I don't think Ghost Quarter... I don't think you want any colorless lands in the deck. We have way too many color restrictions. We went over this already. Like, you want to go turn one thoughts, these turn two thought erasure, and then all of our three drops are double black, double blue, blue black. So, like, it's really... If, if a colorless land is one of your two or three lands, it's really difficult. I think it's Scarab got here. Oh, this is, see, this is what the plague matchup, this is what the Vermilion Plague is for, huh? I see. You got it. Well, that is fascinating. <laughs> uh, our does not get a zombies. We do not have we do not have deserts. Oh my god, we get a Sphinx's Revelation? That's wild. One, two, three, four. I think we're just keeping Scarab got up and thought erasuring you. Because if you have an Ulamog, like... Oh, that's something right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wow, that's really, that's a really amazing hand. Okay, so if we take the Ulamog, they have two Ugins. They're gonna go Ugin in like negative five. Yep, let's just end the turn there. Yeah, that's not great for us. You might say it's even bad. Oh, uh, I mean, we can bring up bring back the old log now, but the problem is they're gonna Ugin and negative five it. But then we get to Eldritch Reborn and kill Ulamog, presumably? That's weird. This is a weird play.
five, six, seven. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, I kind of want to play Hour of Promise this turn. I don't think killing the zombie does anything. We're not going to win by damage. I mean, we can six... I guess we can six Ugin. But they just have another Ugin, so I'm like, I, I don't think killing Ugin is the really play. I mean, Ugin's two turns away from ulting, and we're, all, we're also going to try to cast our own Ulamog with our promise. Fetid pools. I already have a castle. Let's just get two fetid pools. I want to minimize the chance of drawing tapped lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wish we played fetid pools instead, but that's life. Oh, what up, Super Fritz? I kind of hope they try to exile now, thinking this is a token, so I hope they neg three. Because, like, Ugin just doesn't get rid of this guy. I mean, you can go Ugin Bolt, Ugin Bolt. Like, that's what you gotta do, I guess. Also, our opponent is in the, in the chat, so... You know... That's that's always cool. Oh, I guess he is indestructible. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I totally forgot, dude. <laughs> oh man, Scarab God still MVP. You got it. Gain that life. Oh yeah, you can make all the zombies you like. There are eight cards left. You got it. Three to the face. Sounds good. Uh, this has a converted mana cost of 10. Casting cost is a copyable uh, attribute. Sweet deck. You got it. <laughs> Those hands are like, yeah, give it to me. Um, I'm not missing anything, right? Like they can't put a card in their deck. All right, cool. Just making sure. Kind of like Mystical Dispute. 
just because they have lots of expensive things. Choops also. Choops does get rid of the stupid euro. I mean, like, the euro. What's the strength of the euro, guys? Graph Trigger's cage, like, it's only euro, right? Hmm. I am also. I'm, I, I definitely considered Ashiok. What are you saying? What are you saying, Nifty Chris? Are you saying Euro or Euro? Exactly. Um, Aetherborn can actually come out too. Let's just bring in like three disputes. Three of this guy, right? That's for sure. It stops the god too. Wait, you're talking about Scarab God? I don't think that's true. It says creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield. We're not it's not a card. You're you're exiling it. Um I don't like Noxious Grass just because it only kills it. I want to be able to exile it. I do like I do kind of like one ritual just to be able to get rid of their tokens if they get if they get too out of hand. I'll keep it. Sure. Euro, Euro, Uro, or Eugene? <laughs> Probably Eugene. Grap. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna do what you think it does. Oh, that's not. That's not. That's what? I was gonna board this in for their Euro. So now, like, that's great. That's just fantastic. Left a good job in the city. That's fine. I don't care about that. I'm not going to counter and explore. Should I put you played yourself on the soundboard? Should this be on there? Congratulations. Played yourself. Congratulations. I feel like it should be. Yeah, man, that's fine. Go in the graveyard. Can we do anything here? No. That's okay. Uh, I don't think we're murderous ridering. But if they do cast a... Um, If they do cast an hour, I want to be able to dispute it. So. I'd rather not hear DJ Khaled. Wow. Haters gonna hate. I guess we're just gonna go this into Gonti. Worry about the way things might have been. Big gun to keep on turning. I'll take an explore. It's not exciting, but it's at least a cantrip, and we get a free land out of it, so. Sure. So right now we have... Yeah, we'll just get another black source. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping to counter here, but... I mean, I'm not going to just not play anything, right? Like... Yeah, this deck's always a fucking pleasure. Like, even... Like, I hate decks where, like, even if you win, it still just feels bad. Like, you're still just not having a good time. And, like, you feel much better beating it because it's just, like, such a stupid deck. I don't know. 
Is it obvious they're ghosting? Oh yeah, because they just played around Mystical Dispute? Sure. Like, I mean, they were in the chat. Like, we saw them in the chat. So, like, if you're gonna literally, like, if you're gonna ghost on, like, a fucking one match of Arena that has no cost or consequence of to lose, like, it's super weird. And you're probably actually a pretty sizable loser. That doesn't do it. So, yeah, no attacks here. Seems good. Oh, man. Like... Yeah, I feel the dead is miserable. Like, yep, I'll give that. It's not great. I think Brazen Bar was actually probably the weakest link in this in this hand. There's nothing they're going to do that I care about. Like, Double Thief of Sanity seems very good. Did they ever not have that? That's so weird. Like, I've never seen a deck that has the exact card they need so consistently every single game. Like, this deck is basically just Valakut, only instead of having... Um... 
instead of each of your lands doing like three damage, they make two twos that are just like. It's interesting. Four, five, six, seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got to be Ugin, right? We can kill Ugin, but I think it's I, it was felt more important to keep Thief of Sanity on board. So, yeah, I agree with Josh. Like, I mean, because they can actually just draw like nothing important off of a rev. I mean, but like if we if they get rid of our thief, like we have nothing on board. Yeah, this is pretty annoying. I don't understand this this play. <sighs> so I'm tempted to murderous rider one of these guys. We go to twelve, and then they deal six and six. No, we gotta just pass. Well, I was hoping for a land there. Really sucks when you can't hit a fifth land. Cool. Yep, I'm just gonna concede here. Yeah, the matchup's miserable. The deck is miserable. Like. is so funny like I like cage a lot I think it's good I'll take out one grasp yeah I think that's fine One second. Oh, do, 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 do. Dispute seems more versatile. Uh, we're not running Fields of Ruin, no. I don't, I don't think Cullis lands are... I mean, maybe we could put one in. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of putting one, one Cullis land in the deck, I'll be honest with you guys, but... Why, why is this? Oh, because... Because Battlefield... Snap keep. <laughs> I 
Here we go again. Um, so you got two hour of promises? All right, well, let's see if we can get you to play fair. Yeah, always a good time. We're getting, we're in the platinum, we're in the platinum league, so now we're finding more of this, uh, this nonsense. But I never lost a minute of sleep. You know how we do. I bet they drew a Euro in the last two cards. Huh? Euro? Huh? They did not. Keep the sanity OP, man. Oh, Wrath of God. Don't care about it, though, right? We could also take the Explore, the Growth Spiral, and play it. No, we definitely just want to play Atros here, right? I think we just take Gross Spiral. Having the other two in the graveyard is fine. Worry about the way things might happen. Michael B, keep on turning. Split them piles, boy. But eh, all good. Um, I'm just using Scarab God. Yeah, they have. They have an Ulamog in the graveyard, so you get two turns to deal with Scarab Gun. Deal. I'm just taking this so it's not in the graveyard. I think that seems fine. I mean, they probably have another Wrath of God. This is green. They have no white sources. That's super weird. We just get Ulamog next turn, and then that's then we have pretty good Wrath protection. Can you get a copy of my Mono Black deck from yesterday? You can uh, definitely check out the VOD on YouTube, where the link is in the description. Or the deck list, rather. Mm hmm. Hmm. Taking all your Euros. One, two, three, four, five. So we have. Oh, we can actually Grow Spiral here. Play this for four, keep up Gross Spiral to play Fetid Pools, and, uh... Let's see how quickly they can Ulamog. Ugin here, Ugin. <sighs> That's fine. You can also find the Mono Black deck at CoolStuffInc.com tomorrow when my article goes up. Big wheel keep on burning. Zombies keep on burning. That guy doesn't do anything. So they have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We block 2, we take a lot of damage. They 
They might still have us because this is nine total or nine in this one stack? This is nine in this one stack, right? Oh boy. I don't think six is going to do it for us, unfortunately. That's really sad. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 30 damage. <laughs> we can block four of it, so we take 26. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Rider as a creature, I don't think does anything. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Is there anything we can get back that's worth anything? Man, Josh was right about that Wrath of God. <laughs> yeah. This is stupid. Like, sometimes you just get three, three field of the deads, I guess. And, like, it sucks because it feels like I'm actually playing magic and trying to interact with my opponent. My opponent's just trying to get as many field of the deads as they can. And once they do, like, my decisions don't matter. And this is kind of exactly why I don't uh, play commander. Because my individual decisions mean nothing. <laughs> so, you know... doing right now. Glad they didn't ban Field of the Dead, thank goodness. Cast down, Choops, Eldest, Brazen Borrower, Bring in Rituals. Well, unfortunately, we can't board in Legion's End right now because we're in sideboarding, so. Take out Liliana. Sure. 
Feel the Dead feels horrible to play against and feels like easy mode with uh, when you're the one putting them in your 60 early appeals to one type of player to the detriment of the rest. I, I agree with you completely. Oh, turn two gifted Aetherborn. Doing the Lord's work. I, I, I'll agree. I also feel that way about Thoughtseize. I think Thoughtseize is an amazing magic card. I think it's actually too good. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, I'm not scared of their fours, but they will probably Wrath of God here. Nope, they always have Mystical Dispute for my Thief of Sanity. Oh boy, I feel like I'm playing the exact fucking same match as last round. Like, not even the same deck, but the same exact match. It's just so, it's like so repetitive. Like, the gameplay is so repetitive. I'd love to hit a land here so I can Thief and Thoughtseize. But it'll be a Fettered Pools. <laughs> I'm going to be a bit ungenerous here and say that there is likely a significant overlap between Phil the Dead players and people that think if you stream, you deserve to get ghosted. That's hilarious, dude. They have two cards in hand. I think we're just going to play Thief here. I think it's strong. Yep. Oh look, they have five zombies in play. How oh, nice. Sure. Put it in the garbage can. Doodly -doo 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 -doo. I mean, they have Euro that they're probably just going to try to play next turn, so we might as well keep Murderous Rider in hand. Just play Atros, I guess. Uh, Mark, this has no green in it whatsoever, buddy. Let's use these. Ha ha ha! Plague to the graveyard. Hilarious. Hilarious. What do they have? One, two. Sure. I mean, Ashes has drawn us four cards, like two cards every single time. Like, I don't, I don't think that's terrible. Yep. And if they top deck Ugin, we're just going to feel real stupid about putting that into play tapped. Uh, oh, they have another Chef at Dunes. Oh, that's the same one. They just sack Desert. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hilariously good. 
They didn't do anything? Do they not have to- they have to wait. I don't know why they didn't- Hmm. I'm very confused. What do we have? One, two, we have six mana. That's interesting. I'm just not going to keep up Mystical Dispute now. Like, there's no... Oh, they just put this on three. That's real good. Yeah. Amazing deck. I'm very fascinated by the decisions that are being made here. Now you're gonna blow it? Sure. Five, six, seven. So now they have to have a land and an Ugin in order to play Ugin, so we're just going to play Scarab God in hopes that they don't have that. Let's see an Ulmog. <laughs> oh yeah, got him. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, just gonna pass here. Yep, get your one little stupid idiot. Pass to attackers. Can I have this? You can exile all the graveyards. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. Still seven mana. Six, seven. Huh, 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 huh. Is this a bigger threat to us right now? It's possible. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go down to seven, we can play this, keep this up.
This is really tricky, actually. We're definitely playing Thief. So the problem is if we sacrifice this, they get another zombie. I don't know if that's as bad. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the dunes. I think the plus one, plus one for their whole team, 18 damage is pretty bad. What do we want here? Just probably a swap, we'll say. Yep, that's good. No attacks. End of the turn. And now we can just block with Thief of Sanity. I don't know what lethal... What does lethal question mark question mark mean? Um... Oh god, fucking Grazer. Oh god. That's terrible. No. Mm, yeah. That's really bad. This is 16. We block 2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a cast trigger. Gaunty and Drowned can both go. Actually, how many they put on top? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, I kind of like Gaunty here. Six mana. God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> That's that so bad. I keep forgetting about the stupid girl. There's just so much going on. I'm trying to like. Oh, fuck, God, this deck is so annoying, dude. They're just giving us a lot of time. Oh, alright. Well, that's pretty cool. Do pig. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, we have six mana now. Wow, they didn't exile the Ugin? Or the Ulamog? That seems bad. Wow. And I get to eat that next turn? That's pretty cool.
I don't like that the, when, when they have a Euro in the graveyard, it's not over in the graveyard. It's over here. Like, I think it should be in both places because, like, this is kind of confusing. I'm like, oh, they don't have anything in the graveyard. So, that, like, it kind of makes me want to not do this. They have 23 cards in their library. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11 mana. So this is 6. Wow. Infinite Euros. That's hilarious. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we're just going to keep up double Euro here. It gains a 6 life, so... Six, eleven, twelve, twenty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We can block here. Six, twelve. Euro doesn't have to block though. Like if Thief blocks a two-two, and Euro gains us three, so it's almost. Thoughtsies and Thoughtracer? Yeah, we'll keep that. Chanel, have a good afternoon, buddy. No spaghetti for Waluigi. <laughs> oh, God. Where's the lie? We're going to take Growth Spiral because we'll just take Hour of Promise next turn. This is a hell of a hand against this stupid deck. Oh, wow. I will put that in the graveyard because I don't need a fourth one. Yeah, I don't know much about homes and interest rates and things, but that does seem like a good rate. Thank you. Oh, two is it is it two weeks? I feel like I've always called it two weeks. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, just play this guy. See what happens.
And away we go. I mean, we're hoping they don't have land Ugin, right? Like, that's the hope. That's the dream. But then again, this deck probably always has that, so. 2x? 2. Okay, we could do. We could do 2x. Now I know, so. I mean, Arch of Varazka is pretty insane here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I think Vantress is better for them now. Like, they still have, to have two. Do if they have two more lands for Arch to actually do anything? Good. We have hit no creatures in either graveyard. Hmm. Unfortunate. Oh, they're going to kill the Scarab God with this instead of the Plague. That's fascinating. I mean, I guess they die if they don't, right? Uh, okay. Okay, I get, I get another one. You got it. It's your boy. Their deck sucks. <laughs> we'll see you later. Guys, I think we have a successful record. I think this deck is pretty sweet. And uh, I'm okay with it. But we're at about an hour and 55 recording time. So definitely check me out at manatraders.com. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below in the description. Also check out Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. I have new articles going up there. And uh, you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. You can also check out Freshly Brewed that Rob and I do. It's a regular podcast about Magic the Gathering anywhere podcasts are found. And finally, check out patreon.com slash franklapore. I don't have a ton of content there, but I do. Uh, it is a great way to support the channel for $1 or $2 a month if you don't want to spend 5 on Twitch or if you don't want to do this or that or this. It's a great way to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you next time.